just come out to a field down the road from where I live and I've uh, not brought a big bulky DSLR with me this time just a nice pocket friendly Sony RX100 Mark III and I'm going to try and catch uh, the Milky Way with it so let's give it a try If you're wondering what it is that's on the end of the camera, it's a mag filter, 52mm filter holder, and I've got threaded into it a Hoya Red Enhancer filter to suppress some of the light pollution from the night sky. For my camera settings, I've got the image quality set to raw, I've got the lens fully back, so it's at its widest at 24mm. The aperture is at its widest aperture of f1.8. I've got the ISO quite high at 3200. I've turned off all of the noise reduction settings. And I'm using shutter speeds between 15 and 20 seconds, experimenting to find which is best. Now I know that there's going to be some noise with the high ISO, but I'm going to deal with that in stacking. So I'm going to take at least 10 frames. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Well, that's not looking too bad at all, is it? This is a single frame that I captured on the night. Let's look a bit closer and have a look at the noise levels. As you can see at ISO 3200, the noise is quite apparent. So the way I deal with this is I take a number of frames and then I stack them in an application called Sequitor. If you're using an OS X on a Mac, you can get an application called Starry Landscape Stacker to do the same thing. But as I'm doing this on a Windows PC, I've stacked in Sequitor. I hope you found that video interesting and I hope you find it helpful. I also hope that you'll find it inspiring to take your RX100 outside on these summer nights and capture your own Milky Way images. If you like this video, please give it a like and if you want to see more content, please consider subscribing. Take care and clear skies.